Athena showed me new heights as compared to what a student could achieve in high school. Hi, my name is Agastya Vishwanath. I studied at Lancers International School and I've got acceptances into UC Berkeley and Imperial College London. When I came to Athena, I was very determined. I had a lot of drive and a clear image of what I wanted to do, but I also wasn't the most experienced. I felt guideless. I didn't know exactly in what direction I was supposed to move and That's where I think Athena really helped. And now coming out of it, my mindset is just much more sort of measured and relaxed and calm as compared to sort of the fiery, uh, you know, get into it as I, that I was earlier. The entire process exposed me to a lot of things which I otherwise find challenging. For example, I find writing very, very challenging. And so having to write college essay after college essay after college essay at a very high pace, it taught me how to work in an area where I'm very, very uncomfortable for long periods of time. And part of that is changing your mindset towards the way you work. Aside from that, it was also just a very challenging environment. I mean, you juxtapose that with the kind of warmth I felt from the people at Athena and my, especially my counselors and the senior writers. I think that also helped change the way I was approaching the work and my attitude towards the work. So I think I'd, I'd say those are the two major things that caused this shift in mindset. When I went into Athena, I was not the most organized person. Like I have this allergy towards organization tools, so I, I love to keep everything in my head. And with school, that had been going like fine, you know. I was managing and was getting everything done on time and I was relatively organized, right? But stacking Athena on top of that with my current system just did not work. First few weeks in Athena was very challenging for both sides, right? Because, um, you know, I'd, I'd mess up the time of a meeting or I'd forget how to do this or I'd do it at the wrong time, right? I was, it was just a bit of a hot mess. But I think that uh, Athena was, the first two weeks were like the kick in the pants I needed to really get um, my organization in order and post that you know I think that's really what helped me become a much more organized person and capable of handling a lot of very diverse work at the same time which is something I think I'll be encountering a lot more in college life and beyond so I'm very grateful for Tina for being that uh, that push to achieve that level. I was very determined in not only what, like which general field I wanted to work in, but what subfield I wanted to work in. I was very clear I wanted to be a theoretical physicist. Furthermore, I was quite clear that I wanted, at least at the beginning, to go to the United Kingdom to study. As such, we tailored a lot of my application towards focusing on that subject, on that niche, and trying to build that as much as possible. So that's the major plan we went in to begin with, and we developed it along that stream. So a lot of my activities ended up being very related to physics. Athena showed me new heights as compared to what a student could achieve in high school. Like it had been my dream to write a research paper, but I'm like, I'll have to wait till my third or fourth year in college to do that, right? And then I came to Athena and I had even spoken to one of my dad's friends who works in research and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you can't do that right now, right? And, uh, and I came to Athena and they're like, oh, we've got a full, we've got a full department for research papers. And I was just like, oh my God. And, and you know, summer programs, I went to a summer program at Oxford with the help of Athena, right? And so all that kind of stuff, like just new heights. And as someone who's deeply interested in the subject, right? It was just such a wonderful learning opportunity and I got to learn so much more about my subject through working on these projects with Athena, whether it was writing research papers or doing things in education, which I was very passionate about or doing these summer programs. So I think that's one way that Athena helped a lot. I'd done a lot of extracurriculars before I'd come to Athena. A lot of stuff in music, right? Whether it was, you know, working in the orchestra extensively uh, at my school or, you know, making a platform to teach music theory or i had done a lot in sports in terms of running in Taekwondo. And yeah, basically I'd done quite a few extracurricular activities before I'd come to Athena. But Athena kind of showed me that when you're trying to market yourself to other people, if you've done all this work, you also need to do that 5% extra, which allows you to show and communicate how much you've done. When I was doing it, I was just concerned with like the, the principle of the matter and just finishing what I'd wanted to do. But Athena really showed me about how doing just a little bit more work can help you market yourself and just demonstrate all that work you've done, all, all the amount of knowledge you've gained in a very effective way. I think those are the two major things I'm grateful to Athena about when it came to building my profile. Athena had a very flexible attitude towards what an essay could be. It did not have to be, you know, like introduction, body paragraph, conclusion. It could be literally anything, right? And they encouraged you to make it literally anything. And so I think the most memorable aspects of essay writing for me was just this excitement of, oh, I did something really interesting. I can write, turn that into an essay. So I think uh, the one that does stick out to me is for one of my UC essays. I'm very, very passionate and interested in Shakespeare. And, um, uh, and you know, I'm very passionate about communicating it to the younger generation because most people like, 
avoided like the plague. But I, I had just finished reading Julius Caesar and I loved certain aspects of it. And I said, you know, let, let's just because I wanted to make it fun and interesting for people. And so I, I reached out to one of my old English teachers, who's now of course teaching eighth grade, right, in my school. And I was like, you know, can we? Can I just storm into the classroom and with a couple of my friends play out a scene from Julius Caesar and leave? Um, talk factor should do something to make it entertaining, right? And she's like, that sounds because she's also a fan of Shakespeare. She's like, that sounds lovely. And so we did that, and it was like very ragtag, like bad planning, but it was fun. And you know, the, the students loved it. And I'm like, the, I remember coming out of that. I'm like, that can be turned into an essay, right? And and we did. And so that's what you know made essay writing fun. Right, because otherwise, as I said, it's a very difficult process for me in particular, given my struggles with writing. But I think that's what made essay writing a lot more tolerable and a lot more interesting and fun. So Athena will adapt to your priorities, I think. And so Athena, for me, was a source of sort of wisdom and knowledge, right? But at the end of the day, it is your decision. So I think the most effective way in which Athena can and will help you when it comes to selecting colleges is that you come to them and say, "These are my priorities," right? And they can advise you on your priorities. But it's a good idea to have an idea of what you want. And when Athena comes in, is they look at those and say, "Here are the colleges which will fit that." And you know, maybe this priority is not as good. Maybe that's not so. In my case, right? Like I cared primarily about two things, right? The brand of the college because that would help me because I'm looking at a primarily academic career. So whether I like it or not, that's Quite significant, and um, the kind of rigor that they'd be able to offer when teaching physics and maths, and those were the really like the only two very basic things that mattered to me. And while I, of course, did have a lot of preferences aside from that, I was very willing to put those on the second rank, right, and, and hold these above all else, right. And so I applied to a lot of places where you know necessarily. Classically, you know, given like you know the location and stuff, were completely not my fit. But MP, uh, but me, like Athena and I worked together to apply to these colleges because these were my set of priorities going in, right? And I was more than willing to sacrifice whatever you know, like uncomfortableness I felt in the location or with the vibe of the college, if it was able to offer me uh, the kind of rigor and 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 prestige I wanted when learning maths and physics. But that's me. And what's great about Athena is that if that's not you, then Athena will adapt to exactly what you want. Right, and I think once again, it's best in these cases to use Athena as like a bank of wisdom, um, and you come in with you come in with your problem, and they're there to solve you. Warmth, wisdom, and challenge.